Well, I hope you're ready for this because it's finally time to add some wobbles to our song. And welcome to the art of bass. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Right click one of the tracks and go insert MIDI track and then drag your massive into it. And the sound that we're going to make this time is a little bit more, well, what would you say, advanced than the other one. It's just not just a cutoff, it. there's actually going to be a wobble in it and that sort of fun stuff. So let's turn the first oscillator off and use the other two uh, to work with. So in this case, we're going to select the pulse saw wave for our first sound. And we're going to tweak this button all the way to the right to get the saw wave and not the pulse wave. All right. And then the width can stay very thick. And then the amplifier needs to be all the way on because we want to hear this one very loud. And we're moving this all the way into effects number one, where we're going to add the wobble later on. So right now, if I press the key on my keyboard, it sounds like this. Notice that if you're pressing a key on your keyboard, you may have a different note. So let me show you what note I have just by inserting a MIDI clip real quick. I'm playing the E1 on the uh, scale here. I could go down but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it on E1. Okay, so that's the note that I'm playing to shape the sound. All right, back to the massive. We're gonna make a second oscillator here, number three, and we're gonna use the one called um, Hereby. Let me see, where is it? Hereby, there we go. All right, and this one is going to be a little bit half half we have no idea what wavetable is in this one because it's not mentioned so uh, it's just uh, um, fiddling around and seeing what works excellent we're gonna put that on oscillator one or on filter one also all right perfect now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some um, phaser if your oscillator is producing multiple waves of sound uh, you can tweak those waves by changing the phasing. And really the only thing that phasing does is it brings the two waves or more out of phase with each other. And that can create a thicker, richer sound if you wanted to. Also, you gotta be careful because if waveforms are exactly the opposite of each other and they're exactly the same volume, you will hear absolutely nothing. Your speakers will uh, look like they're producing sound and they are, but the waves are canceling each other out and that's why you hear nothing. On the third oscillator, which is this one, and turn it up halfway. As you can hear, the third oscillator is now sort of going left and right. Let me turn the second one off so you can hear it. All right, and we can change the pitch over time also. Let's go to minus five. And it gives you sort of a gritty feel. Now, now let's put the other oscillator back in. Awesome, if I go up an octave. Sounds like that. All right, now we're gonna uh, go over to our filter section here. And we want everything to go to um, through this filter. So we're gonna select the daft once again. And as you can see, it cuts off everything unless I turn the knob off. And that's exactly what the wobble is. We need something to wobble this knob on the speed that we want it to go. All right, and that is going to be an LFO. LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. And basically all it does is it makes the wobble for us. It animates knobs over time. So what we're doing is we're gonna move, click this move button and then click one of these three under the knob and then turn the knob all the way down now with this uh, number five LFO selected, you push the mouse up and it creates this color thing. And that basically means that this LFO is going to wobble the knob for us. You can hear that when I uh, play a note. All right. Now we can change the speed of the wobble. So we need to sync it to go with the speed of the song. And right now it's very slow. We can make it go a little bit faster by for example, 16th notes or fourth. We're gonna keep it on the two for now. Now we wanna make this wobble a little bit more spectacular than just the sine wave up and down. So we're gonna actually make it bump up in the middle 
And then the second one we're going to make just go down like a sawtooth. And then we're going to put the fader between those um, waves halfway so these play off of each other. That gives you a really clean feel. And now if I go down an octave, sounds like this. If I go back up, sounds like that. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of voices uh, to the mix here. Um, so we're going to make it two voices, not too many. Set it to monophonic and legato triller once again. And you can already hear that the sound is very full. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's uh, tweak some other sliders here. Let's go that make that go to mix one. And let's add another phaser, but this time to the effects. And let's turn that up and the rate a little faster as well. So as you can hear, it makes the sound a lot nicer in stereo. So if you're wearing headphones, you could hear that the sound is really beautiful uh, in uh, when you hear both ears. All right, so there we have that. Um, so that is uh, our wobble so far. Let's turn this up on the mix number one also. Let's see if there's some other funny stuff we can do. Like let's see if we can add some noise. Basically add sort of a windy effect. Alright, so let's add another uh, filter on the insert and let's call this uh, the heart clipper. And this basically makes our wobble dirty, if you will. So we're going to want to wobble this knob also. And so we're going to use the same LFO, move that into the drive here, and make sure that the green part is first, and then, which is the beginning, and then the one on the end. You can see what it does to the sound already. Let's add some more. Let's see if we can add some fun stuff to the second one, like a parabolic shaper. We can do that, but I don't I don't really like it too much. So that sounds about right. Let's see if we covered everything. Let's restart via gate also. And this one's really cool because we can change if we go from one note to the other one how fast it goes. So right now if I go from one note to, to a higher note, it goes there right away. But if we rate it instead and select a time, now when we slide up or down, um, it actually gives us this amount of time. Did you hear that slide? Or I can get, make it even longer. All right, maybe a little too much there. We can even animate this, but this is great for risers. If you put it all the way up and make the LFO a little less aggressive, if you want to have a riser from one, uh, you know, uh, before you go to the drop, it could sound like this. Or something like that. So I'm just going to keep it slightly uh, normal because the rest of this knob is very long, very aggressive. Um, so I'm going to keep it there. And I think this wobble sounds pretty good so far. Let's see what we can do with the speed of the LFO. I like it best that way. All right, so we have ourselves a wobble. Now it's time to uh, actually put it in the mix.